Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am It's Bea. So in today's video, I am going to be doing basically and kind of like explaining my tongue video, I guess. So as you guys can see by the thumbnail, um, my tongue is different. I don't have a normal tongue. My tongue is called an geographic tongue. So I'm just going to get straight into like the typically asked questions and like just random details about my tongue. So, my tongue, I was born with my tongue. Maybe you can show you guys. Uh, so, yes. I was born with this kind of tongue. Um, it's from speaking to my mom. My mom didn't initially, like, see that my tongue was like this. Because, you know, when, when you have a baby, I mean, you pay attention to certain things. But it's like, you don't know if, like, the things about a child is going to change. So, um... When my mom did see it, I was still very young. I was probably like months old. Um, when my mom did see it, she had took me to the doctor. And from speaking to her, she said the doctor gave me medicine. So when the doctor gave me medicine, because the doctors thought that like I had like um, like a breakout from like something that was sensitive or like allergies and stuff. So they gave me medicine. The medicine didn't work. So once the doctor realized that the medicine didn't work, clearly doctors know that there's a such thing as a geographical tongue. So... Um, seeing that the medicine didn't work and knowing, having like, you know, knowledge on different types of tongues, the doctors put together, I have a geographical tongue. Then from, um, seeing the kind of tongue my dad has, my dad also has a geographical tongue. But at the time, like when I was younger, my dad's tongue was not as bad. Like basically not how my tongue looks now, but like my dad's tongue was a little bit better. Like I guess it's like his cuts and stuff like that didn't show as much. So, it wasn't, you know, as obvious unless you really paid close attention to it. But my tongue is, I'm not sure if it's genetics. I, I don't know if it's genetics, but my dad does have the same kind of tongue. My grandfather also kind of had, like, it's not as bad as I, me and my father's, but my grandfather has, like, certain things about his tongue that it kind of would just make sense if you piece all of that together. So, I don't know if it's genetics, but it could be genetics, but what I have is called a geographical tongue. So, um, my whole reason for making this video is because I get, I don't really get as many questions now that I'm older, but when I was younger, I did get a lot of questions or I kind of got made fun of for my tongue. So when I was younger, I wasn't very comfortable of like, you know how kids like make silly faces and you stick your tongue out. I personally was not comfortable with doing that up until the age of, I want to say probably like 13 14 i wasn't comfortable with doing that so all my life and unless i was like a baby or like younger but from the age of probably like six to like 13 i was not comfortable with sticking my tongue out anything that has to do with my tongue like i wanted to hide it when i would talk i would talk a certain way that so that when you when i spoke you wouldn't see my tongue now if you see my tongue as you guys can see i really don't care like it's something that i've grown to love it's something that makes me different yada 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 so um yes when i was 13 it was my freshman year like my eighth i had just graduated from eighth grade going into my freshman year of high school i had decided you know what f it i want people to know what kind of tongue i have i was tired of getting questions because when people would see me on facebook and stuff it's like oh my gosh she's so pretty i'm not gassing myself or nothing but it's like oh she's so pretty and then you meet me in person and it's like oh your tongue is like that so i had decided to post a picture on facebook i'm a insert the picture, picture or show you guys picture i decided to post a picture on facebook of my tongue and the picture went viral like i had people from like other states i'm not gonna say out of the country but other states texting me about it the picture just went viral everybody was sharing it some people was like oh, wow you know like i have this tongue too and she gave me confidence and people was messaging me and everything like that and oh wow you know like i have this tongue too and she gave me confidence and people was messaging me and everything like that and other people was just like ill I got crazy comments like, ew, she got a hamburger tongue. Oh, she be doing nasty stuff. Look what happened to her tongue. Oh, you kiss your mother with this mouth. Da, da, da. Clearly, you know, I'm my mother's child. My mom knows I have this kind of tongue. So, at the time, it didn't really bring me down. But it was just like, dang. Like, my whole reasoning was kind of to live my truth and 
So, you know, I know that there's people out there that have a tongue like mine because doctors told me my dad has it um, and stuff like that. Like, I had never met someone in person that had the same tongue as me, but I knew from doing research and stuff. I'm not the only one out there. Like, I'm not an alien or nothing like that. So, people um, were just commenting crazy stuff, trying to just, like, kind of bring me down, make me feel bad about myself. But it's like... I kind of expected this to come because it's like I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Like I'm from one of the the harshest states in the world. Like you feel me? Like people don't keep their comments to themselves in New York. I was I was expecting what I expected. So it's like I kind of went in with the mindset of I'm accepting myself for who I am. This is who I am, and I'm gonna love who I am. I just want to share it with others. I want to share it with the world. I want to explain myself. So um as the caption i kind of had went along the lines of like you know i was born like this i've grown to love myself you know stuff like that I, you guys are gonna see when i answer the picture so yes um from posting that picture people um had basically like like i was saying i got good comments i got bad comments people was messaging me you know like oh this is disgusting blah 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 and other people was messaging me like wow i love that you posted this i love that you shared your experience i love that you shared what you you know the kind of tongue you have and stuff like that and from um posting this picture i it was a lot of messages that i didn't open you guys are gonna see i'm gonna either figure out how to put the messages all over the screen or just like have some in between this video but um from seeing a lot of those messages at the time i did open some of them and then some of them i didn't open like today it had actually weighed heavy on my heart because i had a conversation with somebody about my tongue again and again and i was like you know what let me just go and see everything that you know had transpired everything that has spiraled after the picture so going into like my message request because at this time i had got a lot of messages and i just never opened a lot of them and you guys are gonna see the messages but i was just like today i was like i definitely want to make this video now because seeing just the like the inspiration i gave people and the confidence i gave other people it's like dang like you know there was a lot of backlash but then there's also a lot of good that came from um posting that picture so i had posted a picture of my tongue twice the first time i posted the picture i had got like five point something thousand likes i don't know probably more i don't even really remember but um yeah that picture had went viral like crazy and then i think it was a few months later or like a month later maybe a year later i'm not sure i don't really remember but i had to post another picture of my tongue which is gonna also be in a thumbnail and i'll put it right here and um of course i went through like the same thing again but i have posted that picture also because i'm like you know i want y'all to see like i feel totally confident about my tongue i don't think that there's anything wrong with me i love me for who i am stuff like that so that's the whole backstory of that whole situation um a common question that i a few common questions that i get is does it hurt my tongue does not hurt the only i guess effects of my tongue is that you know clearly my taste buds are a little bit stronger so when i eat sour candy sour foods i've kind of tasted a little bit more i guess spicy foods um it's not a no for me but it's spicy like it's spicier than spicy i guess if that makes any sense so spicy foods, um, I'm not a fan of them because they do kind of irritate my tongue sometimes. Like if I eat organic spices, um, my lips will kind of swell up. My tongue won't swell up or anything, but I would just feel it more like I could feel it burning and stuff. And yeah, it's just it's just spicy. Um, has it affected my love life? No. Well, it has, but at the same time, it hasn't. Those of those people that I've I've um, been in serious relationships with, they accepted me for me. They've known about my tongue. Um, some people like like within the past two to three years people knew about my tongue so it was kind of like all right you already know about my tongue you're gonna accept me or you're not people who didn't know i would tell them because it's like i don't want you to feel like i'm like living a lie catching off guard kind of thing so those all the people i've been with they've known about my tongue they've loved me for my tongue it hasn't affected them in any negative way currently i do you know what that's my late time but the love life it hasn't affected my love life those people who were being ignorant about it if you didn't want to be with me then you don't want to be with me i have had people who didn't want to kiss me because of it and i'm just like i don't really care you're missing out on a good girl like i'm pretty i'm fly you know like it's just it's just my tongue makes me a little bit different um has my tongue opened opportunities for me definitely um my tongue has made me have like connections with other people across the world not across the well yeah kind of like across the country people reaching out to me like oh my god you know i have the same kind of tongue whatever blah, blah, blah. that whole situation but this was just a little quick video that i wanted to get out there about 
my tongue because I've again got many questions, many inquiries about it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for more. I love you. Love you. Love you. Mm -hmm.